Yellowstone awakens, detecting magma beneath the park as steamboat erupts again. In the vast wilderness of the American West, Yellowstone National Park is more than just a playground of bubbling springs, steaming fumaroles, and spectacular geysers. Beneath its rugged surface lies a colossal force of Natura Supervolcano, whose past eruptions helped shape the continent. While millions of tourists are enchanted by its geothermal wonders each year, a quiet question lingers in the minds of scientists and observers alike. Is the Yellowstone supervolcano still asleep, or is it beginning to stir? That question took on new urgency in mid-2025, as the Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest currently active geyser, erupted again with astonishing force. Simultaneously, new scientific studies revealed fresh data about a surprisingly shallow body of magma rising underneath the park, prompting both curiosity and concern. Could these phenomena be connected? Is Yellowstone's vast magma chamber recharging and? If so, what does that mean for the future? The silent search for magma, what scientists are discovering. For years, teams of geologists and volcanologists have worked tirelessly to understand the complex magma system lurking beneath Yellowstone. In recent months, researchers from the USGS and several universities deployed dense arrays of seismic instruments and cutting-edge ground-penetrating sensors, it's hoping to map the underground structure with high precision. The results shocked even seasoned researchers. A sizable accumulation of semi-molten rock magma was detected as shallow as 3.8 kilometers, 2.4 miles beneath the surface. This layer sits above a deeper reservoir that stretches down over 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles into the earth, containing a mix of solid rock, hot brines, and partially molten material. This upper magma body, though not fully liquid, is rich in volatiles water, vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur compounds, and other gases. It acts like a boiling pressure cooker, with gas bubbles gradually escaping through fractures and porous rock. This degassing process is key, as long as these gases can escape. Okay. Pressure doesn't build up to dangerous levels. A breathing, giant, not a sleeping monster. Despite the dramatic headline, magma detected under Yellowstone. Scientists emphasize that the presence of magma is normal in an active geothermal system like Yellowstone. In fact, it's what fuels the iconic geysers, mud pots, and hot springs across the park. The system is not dormant, but constantly breathing, releasing heat, gas, can pressure through natural vents in a dynamic equilibrium. USGS volcanologist Dr. Wendy Stovall explains, Yellowstone is one of the most monitored volcanic systems on the planet. We see no signs that it is moving toward eruption. The new magma imaging helps us better understand the system, but it doesn't indicate imminent danger. Steamboat, geyser, Yellowstone's fiery surface. While the magma below remains trapped in the Earth's crust, okay? Yellowstone's surface has recently reminded the world of its energy. On April 14, 2025, the steamboat geyser erupted a knot's 15th major. It's blast since early 2024. ejecting a towering column of boiling water over 300 feet 90 meters into the sky. The eruption lasted for nearly 20 minutes and left nearby trees. Pathways soaked in a fine mist of mineral-rich steam dot. 
Steamboat is known for its irregular schedule sometimes it remains dormant for years, then suddenly erupts multiple times in a month. Though awe-inspiring, scientists confirm that these eruptions do not indicate a volcanic eruption is imminent. Instead, they represent fluctuations in surface hydrothermal pressure, influenced by rainfall, groundwater movement, and local seismic shifts. But the timing, combined with new magma readings, has led to renewed public attention. Will the supervolcano wake up? answer that question, we must understand the science of supervolcanic eruptions. Yellowstone's last supereruption occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, spewing over 1,000 cubic kilometers of ash and lava across North America. Since then, the region has seen smaller eruptions, most recently a lava flow around 70,000 years ago. While that might sound like a long slumber, in geologic terms, it's just a blink. Current USGS risk assessments place the chance of a super eruption at less than 1. 730,000 per year, or 0.00014% annually. Scientists look for specific warning signs, increased earthquake swarms, rapid ground deformation, dramatic changes in gas emissions, and rising ground temperatures. While minor quakes and ground uplift have been observed, they remain within historical norms, as volcanologist Dr. Jake Lowenstern put it. It's not about if Yellowstone has magma, it always has. The question is how much, how hot, how mobile land right now? All the answers point to stability. Eyes on the giant, a future watched from above and below. Yellowstone is now one of the most heavily monitored volcanic zones in the world. Satellite radar systems measure ground deformation down 2 mm precision. GPS units track subtle shifts in terrain. Seismometers pick up the faintest underground rumblings. KS sensors analyze air composition. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO issues regular reports. And Global Scientific Networks collaborates in real time. Thanks to this network, any significant changes would likely be detected months to years before an actual eruption. 